Hey everyone, if you're gearing up for an SAP S4 HANA interview and wondering how to nail those questions with confident answers, this video is for you. We'll cover the top 15 most frequently asked questions in SAP S4 HANA with practical answers that sound just like you're sitting in front of an interviewer. Let's make sure you walk in ready to impress, so grab a notepad and let's dive in. 1. What is SAP S4 HANA? Answer. Sure. SAP S4 HANA is SAP's next generation ERP suite built on the high performance SAP HANA database. Unlike the traditional ECC, it provides a simplified data model, improved performance, and a better user experience through Fiori. It's designed for digital transformation helping businesses run real-time operations and make faster decisions. 2. How is S4 HANA different from ECC? Answer. The major difference lies in the architecture. ECC runs on any database, while S4 HANA is built specifically for the HANA in-memory database. In S4 HANA, tables like MKPF and BSEG are replaced by Agdoka, and there's a simplified data model. Also, many transactions are replaced by Fiori apps to enhance usability. 3. What is the Universal Journal in S4 HANA? Answer. The Universal Journal is a key innovation in S4 HANA, combining data from FE, CO, A, and ML into a single table, ACDOCA. This eliminates data redundancy and provides a single source of truth for financial reporting, which is a huge leap forward in terms of data consistency and performance. Now here's another frequently asked one. 4. What are the key benefits of migrating to S4 HANA? Answer. From my experience, the top benefits include faster analytics due to in-memory processing, real-time reporting, a simplified data model, reduced data footprint, and improved user experience with SAP Fiori. It also supports innovations like AI, IoT, and advanced automation. 5. Can you explain the key deployment options in S4 HANA? Answer. Yes, S4 HANA offers three deployment models, on-premise, cloud, public, or private, and hybrid. On-premise is fully customizable and managed by the customer. Cloud is managed by SAP and is more standardized. Hybrid allows flexibility by combining both. 6. What are some major simplifications in S4 HANA? Answer. A few key simplifications include the replacement of traditional tables like BSIS BSAS with the Universal Journal, removal of redundant transactions, merged business partner concept, combining customer and vendor master, and streamlined inventory and material ledger processes. 7. What is SAP Fiori and how does it relate to S4 HANA? Answer. SAP Fiori is the new user interface in S4 HANA that provides a more intuitive and role-based experience. Unlike the traditional SAP GUI, Fiori apps are web-based, responsive, and offer personalized dashboards. It's central to the S4 HANA experience. 8. How does S4 HANA support real-time analytics? Answer. Since S4 HANA runs on the in-memory HANA database, it allows for real-time data access. The Universal Journal ensures all financial data is stored in one place so reports are generated instantly without needing data replication or batch processing. Let's take a look at the next question. 9. What is an extension in S4 HANA and how do you manage customizations? Answer. S4 HANA encourages the use of the SAP BTP, Business Technology Platform, for side-by-side -side extensions. This helps keep the core clean. For in-app customizations, we use the extensibility framework like key user tools, CDS views, and buddies, always ensuring we follow SAP's clean core principles. 
Then, can you explain CDS views and their importance in S4 HANA? Answer Sure. Core Data Services, CDS, views are the backbone of reporting in S4 HANA. They provide a virtual data model on top of the database, allowing us to build complex reports without duplicating data. They're also used in Fiori apps and analytics. Now, on to the next one. 11. What is the business partner concept in S4 HANA? Answer. In S4 HANA, the business partner, BP, concept replaces the separate customer and vendor master records. Now, a BP can play multiple roles, customer, supplier, etc. This unification reduces redundancy and simplifies master data maintenance. 12. What is MRP Live and how is it different from classic MRP? Answer. MRP Live in S4 HANA leverages the HANA database to perform faster and more efficient material planning. It supports parallel processing and doesn't require intermediate tables like classic MRP. This allows for near real-time planning and better performance. 13. How do you handle data migration in S4 HANA projects? Answer. For data migration, I use the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit. It offers pre-configured migration objects and allows us to upload data using templates or integrate via staging tables. It's designed to simplify and standardize the data migration process. 14. What are some challenges you faced in S4 HANA projects? Answer. One challenge was aligning legacy processes with the S4 HANA standard, especially when simplifying master data and transactions. Change management and training were also key areas. But with the right planning and stakeholder involvement, we navigated these successfully. 15. What's your approach to ensuring a successful S4 HANA implementation? Answer. I focus on clear requirement gathering, process simplification, clean data, and stakeholder engagement. I also prioritize testing and training. Using SAP's Activate methodology, with its guided phases and accelerators, really helps keep the project structured and on track. So there you have it, the top 15 SAP S4 HANA interview questions answered just like you'd respond in a real interview. Remember, understanding the concepts is great, but being able to explain them clearly and confidently is what sets you apart. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment with your favorite question or the one you're still unsure about. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more real-world tech interview prep, SAP, SQL, by and more. Thanks for watching and all the best for your interview.